Right, hi guys. Just put a bit, well, just doing a quick vid. Uh, I'm sticking this intercooler in. Now you've all seen it before. This one. All I've done at the moment is I've took apart the car, and I'm now trying to work out how to get that to fit in here. Now I've had to take out the radiator and everything just to have a quick look, because this is the carrier where it's got to go in. Now it's going to be different from every other car because mine's lifted, this bar here is in the way because my radiator comes to this height whereas normally they come to this height. So I've got to modify the front of here to let it sit straight. I'm bringing these holes here forward. I'm cutting out most of this bit here and at the side here. This then should then give me the room which I need to bring this intercooler all the way forward. I'll bring you the top plate and I'll show you what I've done there. Right, here's the top plate. As you can see, there and there are the original holes. I've drilled two more holes there. I'll refit the bungs so it will fit in the correct place. Then all you've got to do because this bit here had a lip here, I've had to cut this piece out so it'll sit flush on the intercooler because then when that's fitted back on there, like I said, the intercooler that will be exactly the same place, but it will come forward of this bit here. So that's basically it. I mean, I shall bring you a few steps while I'm doing it. I wasn't gonna bother take, take, come, taking you through, taking the engine apart and taking the radiator out. I think most of you can do that any case but this is where a bit of fabrication comes in and you might need to know how to fit it to your vehicle because that will be the different part right then i'll crack on and i'll bring you back if i can if not i'll bring you a lot of photos and hopefully by the end of the day we'll get this in right i'm just going through the drilling the holes for the bottom bracket i've already took away the piece of metal which will be in the way. I don't know yet if I've got to take any of this off. I only know that when I try to pre-fit the uh, intercooler. So I'll get on with this. Right, I've got my stepper drill in. We're going to get this out to the second one on here and we'll get them both done. Put a bit of oil on this now. Right, I've had to get the electric one out, uh, run out of the uh, battery on the other one. And there you go, we've got two holes here now. Give this a quick clean up and we'll give it a test try with the intercooler and then I'll know whether I've got to take this material off here so I'll have a look and I'll see what's happening right as you can see I've put the two rubbers there and I've, they were here before so I'll get the intercooler and we'll see if it'll fit in yet dropping it he says Right, I'm just going to quickly troll fit this part into here. Ah. Right, as you can see, we're going to have to take off some of this material here to let it sit in there. Right, so what I'll do is I'll get the grinder on this side part and I'll bring you back when I've ground the, uh, this side off here. Right, this will be the second time I've test fitted it. I've put a few washers in here to give this a little bit more height. Now I don't know if I've got to shave a little bit off here, but this is fouling at the top.
right, I'm going to have to get the grinder and just take a little bit of this nut off here and that should relieve that one. It's just a bit tight. It's close, very close. Right, these are the offending culprits here. I'm just going to take about 4mm at a slight angle off both. Right, that should solve the problem there. I'll get another test fit, then we can take these apart, clean them, give them a quick paint. Right, there you go, that's this finished, it's finished. And I'll put a couple of washers underneath here, that will then space this out so I can fit this on properly. Now this is what, this bit here is what I've got to fit and trim the car panel to. But this should now just fit in and the plastics and everything should be in the same place. And it's just doing the rest of the car. Yeah. Right, so as you see, I've cut off a piece of metal here. This metal's been cut here and a piece down the bottom. Relocated the two holes. So it fits in exactly the same place as it did before, and that's it. Bit of uh, grinding here and there, it'll fit in perfectly okay. This is this bit done. I should then go back and then make this bit fit inside the car. That'll be another odd slog, I think. So I'll take this apart, get it painted, and while we're painting it, I'll start cutting on the car. Right, there's the cooling pack done. I'll put the cowl on, make sure that fits. We've still got the radiator in the same place. Like I said, this is still in the same place. So when the viscous is working properly, it will draw the air through this intercooler and all work as it did normally when Land Rover made it. The only difference, this is sticking out here. Now I'm going to start working in there. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've uh, done the modifications to the truck now. As you can see, I've had to cut away this section here. There was a bit in the corner I had to cut away. There was a little corner here I had to take two inches off. Now I've test fitted, I've test fitted the intercooler it goes in and it fits. So all I've got to do now is wait for the paint to dry and put it back together. And I'll bring you back there. It's not going in. It's going in. Mm. How do you find a horse, Captain? Bagger in there, with that chicken oil everywhere. Mm. Right, as you just seen, I've put some foam on there. That's to block that gap up in the middle there, otherwise all the air will be going through that hole rather than going through the radiator and the intercooler. Right, I'll carry on, get this done.
intercoolers in. Uh, not much else I can say really. I'll keep you abreast of what's going on if the temperatures come down in the car and we'll see if it makes any improvements. So on that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next vid.